It's Rex and Laugh and the Beyond the Fairway podcast, which covers a number of topics around the game of golf. And right now we are joined by the hosts of the Beyond the Fairway podcast, Doug Smith, Will Lowry, and Hetty Koyak. Great to see you guys, Doug. It's been a busy stretch in the game. You've seen a lot of it. We broke bread together in San Antonio. What's it been like on this road to the PGA Championship? I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm still on it, so I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. You know, I got back late uh, from Zurich last night back out here to the West Coast. I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to head down to the Vedanta Mexico Championship. And then uh, I get to link up with Will Lowry coming up in Birmingham for the PGA Works Collegiate Championship. Very excited. We host Beyond the Green together, which is kind of a, a career exploration for people that are new to the game or never considered the golf game as a place to be a part of via, you know, uh, employment, et cetera. So looking forward to, to putting on the PGA of America hat and, uh, and seeing my homie Will Lowry. Henny, you're the voice of reason in this group here between <laughs> the guys. What's been the highlight of this podcast season for you so far? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for saying that. I feel seen and validated. Um, no, I am the newest co-host of Beyond the Fairway. So I've been learning the ropes. I've been enjoying myself so far. Um, overall, you know what? The realness and the the culture, I've been really enjoying that uh, element of it. And then in terms of guests, we've had Greg Odom Jr. We've had Wyatt Worthington II. Those two episodes, if you have to go and pick out a couple or even one, my one would be Wyatt Worthington II. These young black men in the golfing arena who are extremely talented have been opening up to us in a way that I never expected. Um, we've been talking mental health. We've been talking culture in the game, how they came up through the game, um, what it's going to take to get them to the next level. It's been really insightful and inspiring. Um, so those two are probably my highlight episodes. And then moving forwards, we're gonna start bringing in members of the community more, of the black golfing community. Um, people who play the game day in, day out, not professionals to be able to hear their take. And so I'm really excited for that as well to get some, uh, some new voices, some fresh voices on the podcast. I also wanted to ask you, Henny, not many people have spent more time around Tiger in recent years than you have. Obviously, he just announced last week another surgery. The end seems awfully near in this epic career. Do you feel <laughs> optimistic going forward? You know, I think whatever it takes to get him out of pain... Um, it's been, honestly, let's just rewind to the accident in itself and even further back than that, if you want, was his back fusion. The fact that he played again, that he won the Masters, then he had his accident, which was life-threatening, and then to come out and be able to um, play and compete again, I think we need to really take that view that that is phenomenal in itself. The fact that he's even playing golf, that he'd made the cut at the Masters is insane. Um, so he's still being Tiger. We're still seeing him give 110%. And look, who knows what the future holds? But I know one thing is that Tiger's always going to give 110%. He's always going to be here mentally. And um, I think that's always going to be inspiring to watch. Yeah, so hard to ever count out Tiger Woods. Now, Will, I want to ask you about something Henny touched upon. That's diversity in the game. Where do you see diversity in the spring of 2023? Hmm. Uh, uh, that's, that's a good question. Um, I think from the, the company standpoint, as far as uh, overall golf, golf governing body, golf industry as a whole, uh, we have started to rise to the occasion to recognize that d and is a, is a key business enabler. But I'm afraid that we may lose a grasp on the inclusion portion. I mean, let's face it, since the summer of 2020, we got a steady dose of uh, what the optics of D&I looks like, what diversity looks like. But I'm afraid we may not grasp what D&I feels like. And uh, I believe for the next couple of years, we are, I mean, we, we, are, we may lose this whole concept of true authentic messaging that can get across. And we may just become a, 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 a no longer be a movement, just be a, a moment of time. And that's what I'm afraid of. Well, you're doing your part, Will. Tell us about your AJG event that you just recently hosted. Yeah, we had the AJG event at Carolina Trace, uh, out in, just outside of Raleigh in Sanford, North Carolina. And, uh, you know, they, they allowed me, thanks, credit to AJGA, Jason Edson and Stephen Hamlin, for allowing me to put a little bit of uh, underrated spin. Uh, you know, underrated tour has a, little, uh, a brand now, having DJs at the, at the first tee and, 
And AJJ, uh, we went through an act of Congress in doing that, which was great. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, we, we got it out there, and it was a, such a great event. You know, credit, shout out to Allbirds for uh, putting on an event in Top Golf and, uh, you know, Pins and Aces, just for allowing us to, you know, uh, you know, add visible equity to golf, you know, as, you know, allowed me to have the Will Art Championship there. So it was, it was, it was a perfect moment for golf, in, in my opinion. Doug, Will just touched on how difficult it is to maintain momentum towards diversity in this game. As it relates to the big organizations in golf, governing bodies, what can they do more to do their part on that journey? I think they got to listen and act. That's really what I think. You know, when you talk about the DEI and all the efforts around growing the game, making it more approachable. Um, one, you know, like Wills always says, if you if you can't see someone that looks like you, you don't realize that you can be it. So, but we have to be heard. You know, I think Henny does a great job abroad bringing people together and, and, and advocating for like-mindedness around the game of golf, especially via uh, the black diaspora. So I think if people start to listen and then we get people in rooms that can, that it, it's going to take some uncomfortable conversations to to grow this game and make it more equitable. And I think the question really is, is who's up for those discussions? Because I'm here for it. Well, it's always enlightening listening to the three of you. We'll be listening beyond the fairway. Will, Doug, and Henny, thank you so much. Enjoy your Monday. Thank you. Well, I'll let you, you Damon. Soon.